the topic. Uh, the case. Case. Okay, the topic. The topic is about a client, a case study for a client who works in the metal manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. It's ta it talks about migration from private cloud to public cloud. A very vague uh, field for me as coming from the development world. So I read the article, of course, it's published on floating point. And I have a lot of questions for the writer, for the head of the security, ahead of the Microsoft and Azure Circle leader. If we can invite Dennis Dal Milon and hey. Matteo Versa. Ciao. Hi. 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 Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. We have Hello. Dennis, the Circle leader of Microsoft and Azure, and Matteo, also a member of Microsoft and Azure Circle, and one of the team members who worked on the on the project. Welcome on stage. Thank you, guys, for Thank the you. article, of course. <laughs> I come from the development phase. I don't know a lot about public and cloud and migration and data storage databases. So I have a lot of questions for you. Let me start from the beginning. The client was one of our NGMS clients. Yes, yes, because the, the, the opportunity for this customer came through our NGMS service because they are managing his infrastructure for more than three years. Okay, so, and the client was looking to migrate from private cloud to public cloud. I don't get yeah, the difference. Yeah, yes, because our colleague from uh, Circle Presses contacted us in order to propose to the customer a migration to the public cloud. The customer existing infrastructure was in a private cloud with an expiring contract. Okay. So this is the this is the motivation. This is the reason, and this is the the, the this is a, this is a where the opportunity has um, started started which put like a strict deadline because now you have to do all the migration yeah. process yeah. before you expire with the private cloud yeah, uh, yeah. provide we, we you we had to 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 conclude the project uh, in a um, five or six months okay okay back to the main question i don't get what's the difference between having my environment on a private cloud and public can you explain more on this? Uh, like the names, uh, like the name suggests, uh, a public cloud is available to anyone in general, in general okay. public. So you can access uh, uh, and buy the services from a portal that is public, uh, faced in a with with a with a browser. But uh, um, the the these cloud computing services are operated by vendors with extremely large data center globally extended. On okay. the other side, uh, some vendors offer hosted private cloud, where the vendors itself manage the physical infrastructure and host it in their data center. Which also, are mainly internet service providers, mainly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, the public but, uh, are examples like Amazon, like Azure, Microsoft Azure, like Google. Google, uh, Oracle, uh, Oracle, IBM, uh, etc. But okay. also, also bigger organization, bigger private organization can choose to build their own private cloud in their own data center. Like militaries, for example. Yeah, yeah. Or sensitive an government institutions. It could be an exit. So, yeah, so, because they no, need sorry. to. No, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Just to to give <laughs> two more. They need, they, <laughs> they need to 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 complain uh, a strict uh, compliance regulation in some cases. But uh, in general, public cloud provide more uptime than traditional data center uh, because okay. uh, they are very large. They can achieve economy of scale than most enterprise only 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 dream. Okay, okay. What other benefits do I get as as my environment being on public? Um, you talked uh, about typical, scalability. Yeah, I talked. Um, the benefit uh, could be, um, for example, uh, the cloud is uh, often an opportunity to do uh, security better. So, talking about security aspect, uh, public cloud, unlike the internet, uh, uh, for example, it was built from the ground up with modern security and privacy in mind. Okay. Many many cloud have built-in security feature and specialized cloud security tools to help ensure that organization resources are protected. Uh, for example, automatic security patching is done. But uh, other other benefits include the redu reduced IT costs, uh, improved performance, uh, and makes sense. Uh, and Microsoft makes sense because it's their core business. This is their core business. So these vendors offer all the security updates. They take care of these 
processes, yeah. patching, yes. uh, availability, Patch, uh, of course. They have another, another, important, uh, another important aspect is that Microsoft commitments for the uptime and connectivity for their services are very high because it's around 99.9999% uh, <laughs> of a service level agreement. So oh. you, the, the availability and reliability of the or the infrastructure uh, are very high. Well, uh, this SLA is available for anyone to read online, so yeah, so they understand document, exactly. In a, public what... phase, in a public page. Okay, last question for you, Dennis, before we move to Matei. I know I'm, I shouldn't ask this question because you're in Microsoft Circle or department, but I'll ask it. Why Microsoft Azure? It could We could have offered the client any other, yeah, any other uh, solution, Oracle or... Uh, one, one thing that sets Microsoft Azure apart from many other public solu cloud solutions is okay. it, its deep integration with Microsoft extensive ecosystem, ecosystem of software and services. So Azure is designed to work seamlessly with a wide range of Microsoft products, including, for example, Windows Server, Active Directory, Office 365, that is a mail, mail service, SQL servers, and etc. But uh, uh, Microsoft Security has uh, mm -hmm. Microsoft Security Teams has over 3,500 experts, cyber crime okay. experts, that con constantly monitoring the for the for threats. And Microsoft invest about uh, one billion uh, in cloud security each year. And one budget, billion dollar, I must see. And the budget is uh, continuously growing. Not surprised. I'm not surprised you got to defend Microsoft, but interesting numbers, really. <laughs> Matteo, let's go to Matteo for the time. Uh, Matteo, so we know exactly what the client wants, what's his requirements, what is he looking for, and we know the solution is going to be an Azure uh, pub public cloud. What do we do? What was the process? How did you start the journey with the client? Uh, first of all, we analyze which kind of public and private application the client had. In the environment, okay. and we found there was uh, databases, reverse proxy, web servers, Active Directory, file server, monitoring application, mail service, and their internal CRM solution. All they were hosted in the virtual machines in a legacy environment. Um, web servers and load balancer was very critical services for the customer because they managed the core business and they are published in the web. Publicly internet. exposed. Yeah. So okay. they were uh, critical. They also had an external data stream that ingested the uh, data in their databases. They have to maintain- From a third data. party, they have some sort yeah. of data injected to their databases. Yeah. They have a data okay. ingestion from- So you need to work yeah. with this third party, sorry. Yeah, we have to maintain this, uh, that connectivity always on. And on, okay. on to, uh, we can't have a downtime on the data stream. Also, okay. no, we cannot have a downtime uh, in the uh, web services published by the, the and the web servers. Okay. So what else we, did you include in your analysis? Or... Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, we, we designed uh, three environment models, three migration okay. models. That was uh, the full lift and shift. And I am an hybrid migration model that includes uh, uh, infrastructure as a service and uh, Platon as a first, as a service uh, component and a full Platon as a fire service uh, migration. The customer choose the hybrid migration that is very common because the, you can maintain some uh, uh, IIS, IIS uh, components but you can transform uh, some uh, workloads into Platon as a service. Okay. Okay. So we use uh, some uh, fine ops methodologies also to make uh, uh, future cloud cost uh, estimations to present okay. to the customer. Uh, because on public, the services are pay per go or pay to your resources. So you need to make yeah. some sort of estimation for the client. How much are you expecting the cost to be? Yeah. Am I right? Uh, because of, on public cloud, you, you can know how much you will spend, uh, you can do estimations on the time. Okay, but it's for sure less than the private, less than the oh, private yeah. cloud, for sure. Okay. Yes. 
And uh, I also remember that your proposal included no downtime. The working hours are going to be after the client is working hour to avoid any sort of downtown. Just yes, that, that was in order to uh, maintain the data stream and uh, the web services that uh, they give uh, the services they give to the to their clients. Okay, and uh, I also was written in the article. You talked about the parallel environment. You did everything on a dev environment and yeah. you migrated it in production after the client validated and tested after you ran all the tests you made sure yeah Am I correct we, we use the parallel approach to be great a blue green approach so we build it's called a parallel, blue green approach yeah okay. you we built a parallel environment isolated from the production one okay so customer can uh, uh, do test it in deeply Mm -hmm. And uh, during the test, uh, we found the opportunity to transform some services from a uh, virtual machine to data Amazon service. Contronized uh, service by Azure. Yes, sir. we migrate the NFS storage to an Azure storage account. Uh, we transform some uh, databases hosted in virtual machine to Azure My MySQL database. Also, the reverse proxy was uh, transformed into an Azure load balancer with the WAF, WAF services to enhance security and uh, to enhance security for the service and the communication streams. Okay. We also transformed. All, all the environment was removed from a legacy approach to a more modernized approach for the yes. client. Okay. Yes. PASS platform as a service containerization for a lot of services like the monitoring i remember it was written on, on the yes, article yes. we transformed okay. prometheus vm that is the, our ngms uh, monitoring uh, services uh, based on our vm but uh, mm -hmm. we transform it in uh, an azure container instances infrastructure uh, also we uh, migrate their mail services in Office 365, improving the functionality and the security of the service. Okay, because all of us Microsoft solutions are now compatible to the Azure cloud, so you can migrate yeah. everything and make everything connected from one yeah. uh, platform and from one solution. That, that's the power. I would like the, to say uh, more material, really, but the time has taken okay. us fast. Okay, yeah, yeah, we understood job. how the. Yeah, great job, do. I think. I thank you. Yeah, the parallel just you, is amazing. Yes, just, just for you, Moab, let me give some... Uh, well, first of all, you mentioned at the beginning NGMS. That stands for Next Generation Managed Services. That is our uh, service uh, dedicated for, uh, for our customer. We want to help the customer to run their business, their infrastructure, their also cloud environment. So this is the, the NGMS. And also for you, Moab, uh, when you talk about the cloud, it's very, it's a concept. So because you put everything together, no? but cloud, it's, it's a concept based on many characteristics. One is the elasticity. So it's very important here. Uh, so it, it's an approach to how you build your architecture, infrastructure, and so on. So you can have private and public. There are many reasons to go public, private, but you have to follow the rules. And also at the beginning, when you and we as a we are very vendor independent, very uh, close to the customer, so we can choose uh, instead of in uh, when we call a, a public cloud, Azure, Oracle, but mainly or uh, everything else, AWS. I don't want to miss anyone, uh, Google, and so on. But uh, or the private solution, the private cloud, because. Every every solution has its own uh, strengths, characteristics, or feature. Uh, yeah, correct. And also, the the way the, the the strategy here for the customer is to have a multi cloud. So the approach is already a sort of pick the best of all the the, the cloud, but everything using the uh, cloud approach. So you call the infrastructure as a code. So cloud is something that you can uh, develop. Uh, you can program the infrastructure you can use everything as a service this is the architect as you really your case study needs or your situation needs and then it comes also this is called the cloud journey because you 
need a modern approach for infrastructure architecture and everything else now a modern approach based on your issue because no one well, we have only one uh, netflix with aws that they founded the cloud as we know but there is only one netflix in the world now so not everyone okay. is, needs the extreme elasticity of infrastructure but this is something that is very uh, easy to administer that is very easy to implement and so on so to manage but also uh, i want to come and we are as a vendor independent as we, we know all the cloud provider we can choose the right solution for the customer but the cloud journey starts from the consultancy so we can offer the customer consultancy on how to choose the best way which one is the best vendor for public cloud or if you can stay with your private and I, I was very at the beginning of the cloud era everyone was yeah. uh, afraid of the, the, the going public means uh, going into some someone else data center so something not secure now mm. because it's someone else uh, 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 let me say uh, responsibility you not know, to, to secure the system so i'm not aware of the, all the system now one of the driver of the going to public cloud is the security because we now know that the cloud provider are very focused on security so it's better secured our data on the security but it comes to the privacy so where is our data our sensitive data in italy in europe in uh, where there is a gdpr or someone else so there are many choose to, to make on the first uh, in the consultancy at the beginning of the cloud journey but also to how to renew everything and also there is the the cloud the journey so the cloud migration so Matteo mentioned uh, the lift and shift approach, hybrid approach. So this is another very important thing that we have, uh, that it's part of the consultancy. And then we are end to end. So we uh, not in different companies, but in one company, we have the expertise of all the cloud provider, the point of view of the consultancy, the FinOps and bar, the FinOps approach, but also uh, the ability to implement and execute everything. So just to you for you. all yeah all this homework happens during the consultancy phase where we understand as a vendor free company we understand exactly what what's the best solutions for our client because we have a lot of case study so we know uh, how to implement we are not a consulting mm -hmm. company and someone else will implement the solution okay. or uh, migrate your environment we also know on premises private uh, public as, and all, we also know the, the, the reason behind the choose of private public we are oh, not probably going with this vendor because we are because we like it or our microsoft teams like it. business contract but we, we really in this case we choose asia because it was the best solution best solution for our client okay and the guys ended the floating uh point uh floating point article by assuring a smooth migration has happened no rollbacks no significant changes to the plan proposed to the client uh 30 percent decrease on the on the annual spending for the client public versus private so i think it was a really interesting and it, it made things clear especially after this conversation i had with you guys thank you so much and uh, please check the technical article on floating point thank you everyone